Okay, so in the the business owner's guide to financial freedom, you know what Wall Street isn't telling you, yeah. which I'll include a link for in the video, in the oh, description of the video. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, you mentioned uncover investment strategies Wall Street won't tell you. What are a few of those strategies? Could you just throw out? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, so again, not to disparage Wall Street per se, but you know they they have um, one basic agenda, which is they want to get your money, right? And then then they then they can do with it what they want. And again, it doesn't make it patently evil. It's just that's the way it works, right? And they use little orange bunnies and little green arrows to make you feel really comfortable for basically you know giving them your money, walking into their casino, and then letting them control where the bets are going to go. Right. And and so, you know, in fact, I back up a step. You know, the, the, the reason Mark and I, uh, Mark Kohler and I wrote that book, um, well, actually, two reasons. One, we wanted to get a lot of, you know, unique thoughts and ideas out there uh, about money, which we did right throughout the book. But fundamentally, it was that business owners, entrepreneurs have this um, th this one big problem, which is they invest every dollar they have in their own business. Right. So you were talking about, you know, picking stocks. Well, they pick their own company. <laughs> right. And yeah. And, and there's a good reason for it. You know, business owners, and entrepreneurs, by na their nature, they would like control. They, they want to be able to control the circumstance. They don't want to get on the bus. They want to drive the bus. Right. And they're going to build yeah. the bus. They're going to build the bus they want. They're going to you know, run their own business. And they're rewarded for that if they're successful because, you know, again, they're they're getting to control everything. Wall Street is the exact opposite. Right. They give the dollar to the, uh, you know, to the to Wall Street uh, side of the investment side. And they're just, again, going to go along for the ride. So. The problem with that is that again, the business owners got all their they have no diversification. But you've talked about diversification several times. They have all their money in yeah. in yeah, in one thing. And 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 then they think because of the marketing Wall Street has done over the decades, right? Literally over decades, that the only place you can invest your money in is is you know stocks, bonds, and mutual funds. Well, no, no. You can invest in all kinds of things. You can invest in real estate, you can invest in um you know, crypto, you can invest in metals, gold, silver, you can invest in limited partnerships, you can invest in the world's your oyster, right? And and this yeah. is especially important when it comes to retirement savings plans, right? So 401ks, IRAs, SEP simples, profit sharing plans, whatever. Um, again, Wall Street would make you think that the only thing you can invest in is the securities, but the truth of the matter is, even inside those retirement accounts, you can invest in almost everything anything and that's yeah. what we talk about in the book right you can invest in all these different diverse uh, uh, types of uh, opportunities that's a good point so uh, on that point do it's you funny recommend... I, talk, I talk so long that when i stop you don't know what to say <laughs> <laughs> yeah. no this is amazing i was just thinking though as you were saying that um talking about the retirement account do you recommend yeah. especially for someone younger a roth ira or a traditional ira oh another great question so you asked me what time it is let's build you another clock okay <laughs> so so um I, I i have this in our book several times we call, i call it fun with math right i've always liked math 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 is fun right and so this is some roth math right because if you listen to the quote gurus they'll say well if you have to convert to a roth you know you got to pay the taxes and then you have to wait so many years before you can recover your money and then they talk about time value of money and they have all this other stuff going on it's all bunk okay so let me tell you the roth math this is really simple when you put money in a retirement account a traditional one you put in a hundred percent of your money right because every, every it's a tax you know tax uh tax-free investment right and then the money grows tax deferred right but when you take the money out then you have to pay the tax so it goes in tax-free right it grows tax deferred and when it takes the money out then you pay the tax on it roth is just the opposite instead of putting in 100 percent of my money let's say i'm in the 25 percent tax bracket 75 percent of my money goes in the roth right but it grows tax deferred and it comes out tax free. So it's just the opposite. So here's the yeah. Roth math. Take a hundred thousand dollars. Let's say I had a hundred thousand dollars in my traditional IRA today. Okay. And I want to do this Roth conversion, right? In my 25% tax bracket. So my hundred thousand dollars is going to uh, get chopped down by 25%. So now I have $75,000. And then let's say over a period of time, it doubles. So my $75,000 is worth $150,000 that I can start withdrawing from at some point in the future. So 100, 
pay the tax at 75, doubles over time, I got 150, but I don't pay any tax, I can take out the whole 150. Now let's do the opposite. Right. I got $100,000 in my traditional account. I let it double over a period of time, same rate of return. So my 100 goes to 200, right? And now I have to pay 25% tax, which is $50,000. What do I have left to spend? 150. The same 150 I had with the Roth. What's the difference? Nothing, right? So the, 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 the Roth math is, if you feel that taxes in the future will be higher than they are today, then you should invest in a Roth because you'll get the okay. tax over as a lower percentage. Conversely, if you feel that taxes will be lower in the future, then you should invest in a traditional retirement account, not pay the taxes today, and then take the money out at a lower tax rate. Right. So if, and if it's going to right, and if it's going to be the same, it doesn't matter. Now, the, the next question yeah. is, tell me, Paul, what do you think tax rates are going to be in the future? I really don't know. You don't. Yeah. I mean, most people <laughs> have an opinion. Most people feel taxes will be higher. Um, you know, we got a lot of government debt and, you know, that's what taxes go for. And, you know, you know logically they will be. And for a lot of people, they will be. You know they, they will be higher right yeah but the problem is we just don't know right we just don't know so i so, mean for a middle-aged person though if they have if they're making good money they're probably in a high tax rate high now or when they right? get older they may be they in a lower probably one. will be in a lower tax so right and and that's another fallacy people say well tax rates are going to be higher so well, okay that's what the tax rate is you know on the tax return What's your individual tax rate going to be after mm -hmm. we take all the deductions and real estate depreciation and maybe had some investment loss or whatever? Your tax rate might be much lower than than you know the, the person next door. So you got to look at again at, at the big picture. I want to go back and answer your question another way. If I have a young okay. kid, right, a young you know a youngster that that maybe is going to work go to work for my family, shredding paper and filing things on the weekends, right? So their tax rate's probably going to be zero. Right now, it's it, it's not likely that there's going to be a tax rate lower than zero in their future. Right. So yeah. for for young people in very low tax rates, um, a Roth is a automatic winner. Right. Because they're already at zero. They know the taxes are going to be higher. Now that you know the math, the Roth math, you know, that's a good formula. Invest in the Roth and then never pay taxes on it again. Right. Yeah. And, right. That's so. True. Right. Oh, that's, uh, yeah, that's, yeah. And if you have a bad year, you know, you lost your job or maybe you had an investment loss. That's a good year to make some Roth conversions because your taxes are lower. Um, you know, there's tax brackets so we can do uh, partial tax, uh, partial Roth conversions. Right. To keep you in inside of different tax brackets. Um, you know, there's there's a lot of different things. So this is my rule of thumb. Right. People say, should I you know, save for retirement in these retirement plans? And. Um, first thing I tell them is you should try to defer everything you can, right? So defer paying the taxes, right? Put everything yeah. in a retirement plan that you can to defer the taxes. Why? Because if you don't defer the taxes today, you will pay the taxes. And once you pay those taxes, you're not likely ever going to get that money back. It's it's gone forever, right? But if you if you put the money into a tax deferred account, what you did buy was time, right? So now you have yeah. time to wait for, you know, uh, just recently, the you know the opportunity zone has been a really um, a good uh, uh, tax you know investment where people could invest in opportunity zones. They could get a twenty percent reduction in the tax rate, and then they could kick the tax can down the road for several years. And then if they still stayed in the opportunity zone, all the future gains were one hundred percent tax free. Well, how cool is that? I could take my taxable money and put it in something like that and get all these tax rates. But guess what? If I didn't have yeah. the tax deferred account, couldn't do it. Right. So yeah. defer, yeah, defer you everything you can to buy time. That's my rule, right? And then look for ways Sounds to pull the money out good. strategically. Yeah. Sounds great. Yeah, yeah, that's that's excellent advice. Yeah, and that rock right. math thing that I blew through. I hope if somebody's listening to this as recording, they heard they listen to it again slower because that's truth, right? If your taxes yeah. are going to be higher. Roth is great. If your taxes are going to be lower, then Roth is are, are bad. And if they're the same, it doesn't matter. <laughs> Yes, that that's the great thing about, you know, having this on YouTube and they, they can always watch it over again and take yeah. notes. And yeah, yeah.